Not too long ago, a subscriber sent me a fan fiction of how I would be in Persona 3. And usually when I notice any sort of fan fiction on anything, genuinely my first initial thought, cringe. But this was not the case, however, I think the combination of the writer making me look like an absolute badass, and also the fact that it's me in Persona 3, there was generally no criticism, no cringe that, um, I'm, that I found about it. I don't want to read out the entire thing, because that's not what the video purpose is about, but I will give you guys a brief summary for like context reasons. So on a random rainy night, um, it was cold, wet, damp, the rain was pouring, the thunder was thundering. There was two oppositions, Yami Swan and Makoto. Makoto seemingly ready to battle, he's got his sword in one hand, he got his gun in the other, Yami suspects that he's gonna shoot him, but no, this crazy psycho bastard points it at himself. Now on the other hand, you got this beautiful, black, melanated young man with a crossed out C's logo on him. Kind of like Itachi with the headband. Now, these two are about to have a sudden fight to the death. We don't know why, but it's just about to happen. And this was just a brief prologue, so the story stops dead. And you know, everyone in the chat, they're, they're wondering, yo, wh where's the rest? You know, it was a, it was a good... It was a good story, people was wondering what's gonna happen next, like who's gonna win in this fight? And people was asking that, but already in my head I was wondering, why are we even debating this? Why is this, why is this a topic of conversation? Reading the fanfic just completely solidified the fact that I would beat Makoto, I would beat the shit out of Makoto. And I mean Lee, I know what you're thinking, oh Yami, but he can use like fusion skills like, like Armageddon and like, he created his own universe and he can wield multiple personas and to that I say, Okay, if he tried to do anything to like bring harm my way, I guess I would just, I, I think I just have to simply step in. I understand you guys don't know my power scaling yet, and you guys want to like give your, your diverse consensus immediately. By the end of this video, hopefully you'll be able to answer the question, who would win in a fight? Yami or Makoto? However, as you go further down, I'm sure you guys will realize it'll turn more into a debate of who would win in a fight? Yami or the entire Persona 5 verse? including the entire Dragon Ball verse, a million go. We're gonna start off simple, we're gonna start off simple, because you know, every anime character has this like anime backstory, so you know, I'm not gonna jump in immediately with the facts. Let's stay with the low scaling characters first. I know you're gonna be quick to jump and be like, you piece of shit. Which is why I'm not gonna dive into this one extremely deep. It's just, I just, don't, I just think this one is like a little, little no-brainer. I mean, we have not seen any huge feats from Nanako. I don't, that I'm not, that I'm aware of. Like, I wouldn't even put her ground level low-key. She's definitely not TV level. I don't think Nanako can do anything of her power towards me. I think the threat would be very minimal, very easily to um, neutralize. And um, for legal reasons, I'm going to stop this one here and not speak further. I just want to say, I'm not saying I would fight her. I'm just saying I could. Jump into a whole nother game now, another character I think I would beat would be um, Kaneshiro. First of all, I've swatted my fair share of flies around the house, I mean like, it's not really that hard. I used to be having to use a weapon, but eventually you know, your power transcends. You look at them and they start fleeing to the windows and stuff, you start using your hand. But for that pure reason, I don't know why anyone in Persona 5, I don't know why any of our main characters had a problem against a fly. I mean like, let's be real, Arn has Aggie skills, right? A moth to a flame? Come on, seriously. Second of all, um, he's a bit of a heavy mass, so um, I can't lie. His weight, his um, his gravitational field strength, is somewhat complex. Putting it lightly, I don't think I think my agility outmatches him. So um, I feel like speed is an advantage. If you guys seen any five minutes of any MMA fight, you would understand that the biggest someone is. It doesn't always translate to how much strength he is. I'll give you guys a quick 360, a quick U to do. I don't know if you guys can really see my nimble physique. I mean, you can see like the tense arms of what I'm quite, quite skinny. You can see the tense arms. You can see like a sign of like what's in veins and stuff. I know you see the fit as well. And you know, anyone, any character with a fire fit on or a decent fit anyway. I mean, it's just a nice summer's day, really. Anyone with a cool fit, immediately their power is increased by at least 10%. So yeah, I feel like because of my nimble, smaller physique, I'm more, I'm more. Get on my face, bro. I'm more likely to avoid critical damage. Dude has like an insanely slow like piggy bank move, whatever the hell that was, you know what I'm talking about. I don't think I'll be affected by that. I'd simply just move out of the way. So I think, yeah, I think Kaneshiro is done. Next up, if we're keeping in the Persona 5 niche, I'm gonna throw in my boy. I'm gonna throw in Madarame. Mainly because I feel like the problem, the problem with Madarame, the problem with Madarame, in my opinion, is um, I think he's past his prime. And I know that like, you know, old anime characters, they are simply... They always are in another league to each other. I mean, you got like my 
Off, off the top of my head, I can think of like Master Roshi, Netero, Hanare Sana, like old dudes, they kick ass. But Madarame is simply not, he's not in that, um, that he's not in that range. I think he, he's an anomaly to that, to that statistic. The reason I say that is because um, he targets kids. Let's be real, he targets kids. He goes after kids and um, those are the only people he can pick on. I feel like if he goes onto someone who's not a kid, aka me, he would have um, a firm difficulty. I don't think I, uh, I didn't specify like a specific strategy for him. Because, I mean, obviously his bones are quite fragile. I mean, he's he's got less amounts. The density of um, bone marrow, for example, is very, like, is very smooth. So he's got, like, he's got, like, no protein. He's got no nutrients. I know he doesn't, he's not getting his daily recommended intake and stuff. Um, he is quite a bit of a fossilized. You see, the problem with him is that um, he, the only feat against someone of age, or someone of consent, exactly, they was already weakened. Manipulation tactics like that would not cease to work on me. Let's be real. I think another thing I want to add on is, I mean, the dude's just playing ugly. I feel like once you're ugly, I mean, you get a, like, 50% drop in strength. Okay, staying on the topic of fragile people, I'm gonna move on to Akinari from Persona 3. Good, confident, love the dude, but there isn't much I could really say about this dude. I mean, like, his time is just running out. I just, like, what, turn the clock a bit faster, you know? I'm on the wiki right now. If we look at bro's aliases, dude's name is Finn Young Man. Dying Young Man. You know what my name would be if I was in the game? Strong, melanated, black soldier. Akinari is a depressed yet intelligent teenager who doesn't have much time to live due to being affected by the I don't even know. He has realized the finality of his death and bother with denial or hope. Though he never finishes them, he finds solaces in his books and decides to write his own story. Yeah, that just sounds like a whole lot of, I would lose in a fight to Yami Swan, in my opinion. I mean, I'm not trying to, like, um, slander anyone with um, any illnesses you could be going through. Yeah, I mean, the dude is losing to his own body, so what makes him going to beat other people in a fight? Like, I hope no one takes offense. So now, I mean, we've already we've touched on like a bunch of like petty villains, petty characters that don't really mean anything in the grand scheme of things. But now let's get onto actual threats, actual like top tier characters in the game. Koromaru. Now before you say anything like, bro, he's a dog. First of all, the dude wields a persona, so the dude has some strength, let's be real. And I mean, look at his persona. Does that not look strong to you? But in terms of a fight, let's be real. Before I actually get onto the fight, has Koromaru done anything strength worthy in persona 3 did you have koromaru on your team did you even remember this character existed no but yeah i think like i think his fit is stupid he's dog i've gone to my fair share of beefs with dogs before i mean like i've never really gonna scratch from a dog i've never really gonna attack by a dog like i'm going through bro's moveset like currently um so first of all we got a slash attack his basic attack um that wouldn't leave a scratch i'd probably be immune to it i don't think i'd take any physical damages so no slash so no strike no pierce damage um charm d i don't get charmed loki i kind of have repellence against that any charms any like what voodoo any black magic i don't believe in any of that so i mean lead that's off the rip cancelled uh mind charge i mean yeah just this you can increase his damage for the next one but i mean i'm still gonna be unscathed agiden uh, i don't think agiden is gonna touch me i mean i, I showered with the hottest temperature on max i don't think it's really gonna be any different from that Mudun again, again, voodoo magic says, I make you dolan almighty damage. Of course, let's be real. I'm not, let, let, let me drop the ego for a bit. It's gonna hurt me, it's gonna do something. But I mean, it's coming from a dog. Let's be real, let's be real. It's coming from a dog. It's not gonna, it's not really gonna touch me, it's not really gonna affect me. I'll probably just like hit, hit one of these, you know, like <coughs> carry on the fight type. Brave Blade, um, deals severe slash damage, again, it's just a slash. Be real, if I got scratched from a dog, I don't think it's anything like, I get scratched, like I start bleeding, I don't think it's anything like tap water can't save me from, you know? Name, Fido Maru, yeah, no, no. Doggy, yeah, no. Guys, you, you really think I'm losing to this? No, no, next. The final character that I'm going to talk about today is going to be Chie. See, my main prejudice against Chie is that like the atomic weight, the density of her cranium, the walnut cranium of hers is going to be weighing her down. So that's going to obviously decrease her, her speed by a, a huge ton, a megaton. But then again, taking a hit from her skull or like her, or her kicks, for example, is going to be voluptuous amounts of damage. I feel like this is definitely not an easy fight. And this is um out of every character I've mentioned so far, this is definitely the strongest character. Mainly because we've seen actual feats, but then again, I don't think it'll be that that difficult for, for me. I feel like it'll be like a medium to high difficulty. The main thing I'm trying to be on the lookout for is like made moves such as Galactic Punt, for example. I mean, whether it works in the real life the same way it works as TV, 
I don't really want to be kicked into space, you know? So, so I'll give you like a brief strategy on how I could like stop this move, for example. Main reason is um I don't really, I don't, I just can't be asked. I just can't be asked for it. I can't lie. Like if you was to land a hit, theoretically, not saying it's going to happen. Don't think, don't think it will happen. But if she was to land a hit, I don't think I'm going to be sent to space simply just because I, I just don't want to. Like I don't, I don't really want to go to space. Second reason, my fit, I would probably be wearing a fire ass fit. So I mean, the drip would be weighing me down. So I would have additional mass applied onto me, but which doesn't affect my actual speed. You know what I mean? And third of all, I probably I would probably have like Chetrakhan activated, so like she wouldn't even be landing a hit on me either way. And if it did, the damage is reflected. I have high counter, and you know in my case it's stacks, so I'd also have Counter Strike. So it would be because she's mainly a physical attacker. I would leave unscathed. But yeah, that is my list. I mean, it's probably more characters that I'll probably talk to about eventually whenever I feel like recreating a stupid video like this again. But um, yeah, I hope you I've answered your question. Who you think you're winning a fight now? You can answer that now. Is it me or Makoto? I'll leave the all to you. You can let you can drop it down. You can drop it down below. And um, I mean, yeah, I mean, like, subscribe, bye.